The Congo Basin, a realm of breathtaking beauty and spine-chilling mystery. This vast expanse of verdant wilderness stretches endlessly, a living testament to nature's raw, untamed power. Its dense rainforests whisper secrets in hushed tones. The foliage is so thick that sunlight barely pierces through, creating an eerie, otherworldly atmosphere that is both enchanting and foreboding. Ancient legends and modern encounters weave a tapestry of a land frozen in time. Stories passed down through generations speak of spirits and creatures lurking in the shadows, unseen by human eyes. The Congo lures explorers and adventurers. Those who dare to delve into its depths are driven by a desire to uncover the unknown, to experience the thrill of discovery in one of the last truly wild places on Earth. But it also warns of the unknown. The jungle's dense undergrowth and labyrinthine paths can easily disorient even the most seasoned explorers, reminding them that they are mere visitors in a world that operates on its own terms. Here, nature reigns supreme. The creatures, from the tiniest insects to the largest mammals, live in a delicate balance, each playing a crucial role in the ecosystem. Towering trees form a verdant canopy, their branches intertwining to block out the sun. This natural roof creates a world of perpetual twilight on the forest floor, where life thrives in the shadows. The air hangs heavy and humid, thick with the scent of decaying vegetation and the promise of rain. Every breath taken here is a reminder of the cycle of life and death that perpetuates this ancient forest. The Congo River, a powerful and unforgiving force, snakes its way through the heart of the basin. Its waters are the lifeblood of the region, supporting countless species and providing a vital resource for the people who live along its banks. Its murky depths conceal creatures both wondrous and terrifying. From elusive crocodiles to mysterious fish, the river is a world unto itself, full of hidden dangers and untold wonders. For centuries, the Congo has been a source of fascination and fear. Early maps depicted it as a place of great mystery filled with uncharted territories and unknown dangers. Early European explorers returned with tales of strange creatures and unexplained phenomena. These accounts, often sensationalized, captured the imagination of people back home, fueling a sense of wonder and dread. These stories, often dismissed as the ramblings of madmen, fueled the imagination of the world. They painted the Congo as a land of darkness and danger, a place where the line between reality and myth blurred. They cemented the Congo's reputation as a place of darkness and danger. Even today, the dense jungle and its myriad mysteries continue to evoke a sense of awe and trepidation. Even today, the Congo Basin holds onto its secrets jealously. The forest remains largely unexplored, with vast areas that have never been touched by human hands. Modern science has only begun to scratch the surface of what this vast and ancient land has to offer. Researchers and scientists venture into the jungle hoping to uncover new species and gain a deeper understanding of this unique ecosystem. Each new discovery only deepens the mystery, reminding us that there are still places on Earth where the unknown reigns supreme. The Congo Basin, with its rich history and untamed wilderness, remains one of the last frontiers of exploration and wonder. In the bustling heart of Kinshasa, a metallic enigma emerged. A towering monolith, smooth and featureless, materialized overnight without a trace of its origin. This silent sentinel stood tall, reflecting the city lights in its polished surface. Its sudden appearance sent ripples of awe and fear through the populace. Whispers of alien intervention and ancient prophecies spread like wildfire. The monolith became an instant sensation, drawing crowds from far and wide. People flocked to its base, seeking answers in its cold, metallic silence. The government, caught off guard by this strange arrival, offered no explanations. Then, as quickly as it appeared, the monolith vanished. One morning, the crowds gathered to find an empty space where the towering structure once stood. The ground remained undisturbed, offering no clues to the monolith's disappearance. The only evidence of its existence lay in the countless photographs and videos captured by astounded onlookers. The Kinshasa monolith remains an enigma a silent testament to the unknown forces that sometimes intersect with our world. Its sudden appearance and disappearance serve as a stark reminder of the mysteries that still lie hidden in plain sight, waiting to be unraveled. The Katanga province, 
rich in minerals and natural resources, is a land of both wealth and mystery. Shrouded in mist and dense jungle, it is home to a chilling tale that has intrigued and terrified many. Colonel Remy van Leer, a Belgian military officer stationed in the region during the 1950s, claimed a spine-tingling encounter that would haunt him for the rest of his life. His story, often recounted in hushed tones around campfires and in local taverns, speaks of a monstrous serpent lurking in the murky depths of the Congo River. Van Leer described the creature in vivid detail. It was at least 50 feet long, with dark, glistening scales that shimmered ominously in the dim light, and a massive head that could swallow a man whole. He claimed to have witnessed the serpent firsthand while flying his helicopter over a remote stretch of the river, a sight that left him both awestruck and terrified. The creature, he reported, had emerged from the water with its jaws agape, revealing rows of razor-sharp teeth before disappearing back into the depths as quickly as it had appeared. Skeptics, however, dismiss Van Leer's account as an exaggeration or a hallucination, a figment of an overactive imagination, or the result of stress and isolation. The lack of photographic evidence and the Colonel's reputation for embellishment cast significant doubt on the veracity of his claims, leading many to question the truth behind his story. However, whispers of giant snakes inhabiting the Congo River persist, fueled by local legends and the occasional unverified sighting that keeps the myth alive. Is the Katanga serpent a real creature, a relic of a prehistoric past that has somehow survived into the modern age? Or is it merely a product of overactive imaginations, a myth that has taken on a life of its own through repeated tellings and embellishments? The answer remains elusive, lost in the murky depths of the Congo River, where the line between fact and fiction is as blurred as the waters themselves. Deep within the lush, verdant rainforest, the Baka people live in harmony with nature, their existence a testament to a symbiotic relationship that has endured for centuries. Their lives are intricately interwoven with the rhythms of the forest, each day a dance to the tune of nature's cycles. They are the guardians of its secrets, their knowledge passed down through generations of oral tradition, ensuring that the wisdom of the ancients is never lost. Their unique customs, particularly their approach to fatherhood, offer a glimpse into a culture deeply connected to the natural world where every action is imbued with respect for the environment. Among the Baka, fathers play an active role in childcare, a practice that strengthens familial bonds and ensures the well-being of the next generation. It's not uncommon to see Baka fathers carrying their infants in woven slings, their hands calloused but gentle, a symbol of their nurturing spirit. They soothe their children with lullabies that mimic the sounds of the forest, their voices blending with the chirping of insects and the rustling of leaves, creating a natural symphony that lulls the young to sleep. This close bond between father and child is a cornerstone of Baka society, fostering a sense of security and belonging that is vital to their communal life. The Baka believe that the forest provides for all their needs, a belief that guides their sustainable practices. They gather fruits, nuts and medicinal plants with reverence and respect, taking only what they need and leaving the rest untouched, ensuring the forest's bounty for future generations. They hunt with spears and traps, their knowledge of animal behaviour honed over centuries of observation, allowing them to live in balance with the wildlife. Their way of life, however, is under threat, as modernity encroaches upon their ancient lands. Deforestation and encroachment from the outside world are putting pressure on the Baka's traditional way of life, challenging their ability to maintain their cultural identity. As the forest shrinks, so too does their world, jeopardizing a culture that has thrived for millennia, a culture that holds invaluable knowledge about living in harmony with nature.